Hare Krishna Prabhuji, there's a, there's a small problem with Facebook Live, but you can start. It's, it's being recorded at the moment. Okay. Hare Krishna, yeah. Welcome, Prabhu. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna dear devotees, please accept my humble basis, all God, Shri Prabhupada. Thank you for joining us this afternoon uh, with the uh, Westfall Namahata. Um, we'd like to welcome His Holiness Ramagovinda Swami Maharaj. He's a disciple of uh, His Holiness Krishna, <coughs> Krishna Das Maharaj and Sanyasi Guru, His Holiness Lokana Swami Maharaj. Um, thank you for joining us for today's uh, session on the topic, the power of association. Thank you. We'll hand over to Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. <coughs> Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Can you hear Hare Krishna. Can you hear me? Hello? Hi. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yes, Kubaraj, we can hear you. It's okay. Uh, yes. Yes, volume is yes, okay. Speech is, huh? Speech is okay? All clear, Maharaj. Uh, yes. Welcome, oh, Maharaj. Oh. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Maharaj, oh. if you can please, Hare, if you don't Hare. mind starting with some kids, then we really appreciate it, Maharaj. Hmm? Sorry? Hey, if you don't mind starting with a little bit of Kirtan. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much, Maharaj. You do the kirtan? Uh, no, Maharaj, if you can start the kirtan. It'll give some time for people to join in also. You know, sometimes people join in a few minutes late. Uh, Radhika Raman can do five minutes. Huh? Yeah, Prabhu, you can sing, Prabhu, Radhika Raman, Prabhu. Hi, Krishna Prabhu, okay. Uh, thank you so much, Prabhuji. You know, sometimes a few listeners, they come in a few minutes late, so... Give them a chance to join in also. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Iti Nami Me Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Shri Mati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Vritti Nami Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Sunyavani Asya Chadesha Tari Thank you. 
Hari 
so far dyan Manaj, we welcome you. Thank you so much for joining us. Om Ajnana Timiran Hasya Jnana Anjana Shalakaya Chachun Militam Yena Tasmai Sri Gurvin Namaha Sri Chaitanya Manu Vishtam Papitam Yena Bhutani Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Swapadantikam Vande Ham Sri Guru Sri Yuta Padakamalam Sri Guru Vaishnavancha Sri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Ragunatam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadhutam Paritana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sri Radha Krishna Padam Sahagana Lalita Sri Vishakanitam Namaha Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishthaya Bhutale Sri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Iti Namine Namaste Sarsati Devi Gauravani Pracharini Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Vachacha Deshakarini Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhara Sri Vasadi Gura Vachanda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Namaste. Hare Krishna, all the wonderful devotees of the Lord. Thanks to all of you for coming to the evening associate session. <clears throat> In India, it is half past six. There it is three o'clock the afternoon still. Today we will discuss what is the glory of the association of a devotee. Is it required to progress from the Kanishta Adhikari to the gradual Uttama Adhikari first class devotee? We will discuss this part. It is written here. It is an association which can build the life of persons, whether it is spiritual or material, no matter. The material life we can see in the especially in the student life. Those who want to score the highest marks come out with the college, out of the college with the distinction in their degree. They have to associate with the intelligent, intelligent and brilliant students who are always getting the highest marks. Because of their association, the student will also learn to study seriously. But if associates with the students of the bad habits, he will also imbibe those bad habits. Important role in the life of the person. The life also. Good devotee, we want to progress life. We have to associate with work advancing in this. Then we must be. But in contrast, if he associates with the people interested in 
French. He also learned to the Sensan Jaiman because the Sensan Jaiman materials question very attractive. Even you know? the devotees also the material problem. Very material world itself attractive. Attracts our senses. They to the individual. Come. Even in devotional service, but they engage in association with the materially people inclined for the sense of gratification. The day will come, the devotee will all fall down from his personal life. Jolly. He will material man. Maybe yesterday, like a devotee putting clothes, everything, but he is not devotee. Because association is a saintly person, but with a non devotee, the way of thinking will also change. Till Bhagavatam it is said, Labha Sudullava Sambhavan. I hope it is shared. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Maharaj, we can see, but your sound, your voice is breaking up. It says, it says bandwidth. Yeah, the in the internet little lunch table looks like. Yes, Maharaj, okay. Uh, uh, I'll try. He said that love, love me, dumb, havante, shamartha, he had he, runam, yet an upper yard, the love is the very superlative degree. Very rare to obtain this human form of the body. Why? Because after passing through the 8.4 million places of lives, out of causeless mercy, Lord Krishna gives the jiva this human body so that he can surrender to the lotus feet of the absolute truth, Krishna. And by engaging in devotional service, can come back to his eternal abode, Vaikuntha. Manusham Arthadam Anityam, the human form of the Arthadam, because only this human body we can utilize in the service of the Lord. The activities performed by this human body in the service of the Lord will enable us to go back home to Godhead. That's it. Anityam, but at the same time, it's so meaningful, Arthadam, it will help us to go back home to spiritual world, but it is very temporary. Dhira, understanding, is intelligent sober man. Turnam yatet anapatet anamrityayavat. Before the death can come, he must try to become the perfection of the life, Nishri Yasaya. Before the death can come, we don't know what time the death will come. It is. That is certain, but nobody knows in what, at what time, what day, we will be subject to the death. That's why the scriptures always say, They has the mamsa rudiro matas jadatam jaya asuta dusada mamata vimuncha. Pashan nisham jagadidam chanabhanga nisham vaira gera garati nisha. Dehasti mamsarup ziromad. One should not have an attachment to this body which is made of this skeleton. Uh, it is all said this 
body is nothing but a vessel of the urine and stool. We all know we all eat very nice, nice things. We don't eat any contaminated dirty things. We eat halwa and everything nice. But what is coming out of our body is always dirty. Can anyone say that, oh, this thing coming out of my body is very fragrant? We close our nose. We take it, urine is smelling badly. Stool coming out is badly. Anything coming out of this body, very, a very bad smell, not all. That's why, where it is coming from? From this body. Therefore, scripture says that this body is a vessel of the urine and stool. So for this body, when, do we have so much attachment for this body, which is nothing but a, it is a vessel of the stool and urine? Therefore, Pashan Nisham Jagadidam, understanding the fact of the life, one should take this material world that everything is very unstable, unsteady. You don't know at what time what will happen. And Vairagya Raghav, understanding the fact of the life, one should detach from this material sense enjoyment and engage in the lotus service to the lotus feet of the Lord. Here I say, Nishreya Sai means perfection. One should, before the mystery death can come, one should put all his efforts to achieve the perfection of the life in going back home to God. If someone says that, oh, human form of life is there to enjoy the life. So scripture says, Vishaya Kalu Sarva Tasya. Vishaya, the sense of enjoyment, Sarvata means any form of the life, whether it is an animal, it is a bird, it is a reptile, it is an insect, or a human being, doesn't matter. <clears throat> all this, you know, all this living in it, there is sense gratification. Sense enjoyment is there, that's it produces the children. Bhakti is not there. Bhakti is only possible in this human body. That's why I say, Labha. It's very late to achieve. So this human body must be utilized in the service of the Lord so that we can achieve the purpose of our best. That's why Bhagavatam says that Tasma Purai Shaiva Jiha Papa Nishkruto Yetam Lutu Avipajatatmana Dosha Yadrishtra Gurula Gavam Yatha Vichak Piti Vichak Piti Tiki Cha Vidam Nadnavid. Before the net, death comes, as long as one's body huh, is strong enough, Yatetam Vicho Aipad Yatatma. One should quickly adopt the process of atonement according to scriptures. Otherwise, one's time will be lost and one's reaction of his sins will increase. As an expert physician diagnoses this and treats the disease according to its gravity, one should undergo atonement for his sinful activities according to the severity of this one's sins. The atonement is required. But atonement itself is, cannot purify the entire process of eliminating the sinful activity. The activity, sinful activity done, may be eliminated by the atonement. But the desire to commit sin from the mind has not yet gone. That's why I said, karmana karmano ninarto. The acts meant to neutralize the impious actions are also fruitful. They will not release one from the tendency to act. Then how to counteract the reaction to the simple activities? Is there any process whereby the living entity 
can escape from the hellish suffering in the hell. <clears throat> Bhavapavargo Janasatari Achutasat Samagama Tasangamoya Rita Deva Sat Jatau Paramarishi Toyayati Oh, my Lord. Supreme Lord, when a person wandering throughout the Bhava Pavargo, throughout the universe, becomes eligible for liberation, he gets an opportunity to associate with you. His attraction for you is awakened, and you are the Supreme Personality of Godhead, the highest goal of the topmost devotees and the Lord of the universe. <clears throat> When a person is qualified to get liberation, then the Lord gives an opportunity eh, to associate with the devotees. Because only by the association of the devotees, one can understand the glories of the devotional service, why one should do the devotional service. So therefore, it is very essential to associate with the devotees. When we associate with the devotees, the attraction for the Supreme Lord and his service are awakened. Otherwise, we will be more interested in the sense of gratification. Bhagavatam 50 Kanto Rishabh Dev Maharaj says that Mahasevam Dwaram Ahur says Tamod Dwaram Yoshitam Sangi Sangi Mahat. One can attain the path of liberation from the material bondage only by associating and rendering service to the pure devotees, highly advanced spiritual personalities, pure devotees. Mahatma means pure devotees. Tamodvaram yoshitam sangi sangi, in contrast, those who associate with the people, part of women and sex and sense enjoyment, the path to the hell is wide open. As a way, we become what, whom, how we associate with. If you associate with the devotees, and we hear from them the glories of Krishna, then we can progress in the devotional service. That's why I say, path of the liberation huh? is open and the material bandage is closed down. Kapila Manshi says that our the consciousness, when you associate with the devotees, our consciousness is purified. But it is when you associate with the non-devotees, our consciousness is contaminated. Cheta Kalvasya Bandhaya Muktayatmano Matam Guneshum Shaktam Bandhaya Kapila Maharshi, who is the incarnation of Lord Krishna, explaining the process of devotional service. The state in which the consciousness of the living entity is attracted by the three modes of material nature is called conditional life. But when the same association, consciousness, Attached to the Supreme Personality Godhead, one is situated in the consciousness of liberation. So the only that when you are attached to the material people, people in the sense of gratification or consciousness is contaminated, it is conditioned, causing the repeated cycle of birth and death. When our consciousness is attached to the lotus feet of Krishna, then we take the association of the devotees in their guidance. And in their association, when you perform the devotional service, it becomes a cause of our liberation. Because our consciousness becomes purified, and that will become, become a qualification for the liberation.
Therefore, the only remedy to get out of this big contaminated consciousness is one should perform loving, loving devotional service to the Supreme Lord. One can be freed from reactions to sinful actions. The performance of the Supreme service to the lotus feet of Supreme Lord Krishna is not by just by our what I think it, but under the guidance of a few duty of the Lord. Therefore, in any activity, whether material or spiritual, the associating the personality who is advanced in that life is very essential. They want to become a pure devotee. We have to associate with the pure devotees, serve them, hear from them over the glorious pastimes of the Krishna and glories of the devotional service. Then one can progress in spiritual life. <clears throat> when Parichit Maharaj asked, Tuvade Goswami, Gurudev, a living entity performs sinful activity out of ignorance. For that he has to suffer so much in the hell. Is there any other way by which one can very easily escape from this punishment by Yamaraj in the hell? So, Shukadeh Gosam says that, Kechit kevalaya bhakti vasudeva parayana agam dhun vantikartniya niharam yabhaskara. Only by taking the devotions. Kechit means ananya bhakti. Ananya bhakti is possible not by my own self. Ananya bhakti is only by, possible by the mercy of the Vaishnavas. Ananya Bhakti, one can come to the state of Ananya Bhakti only when we have the service attitude to the Vaishnavas. When you serve the Vaishnavas, when you take the association of the Vaishnavas and serve them, that activity is very much pleasing to Krishna. Lord Sri Krishna says in Adi Purana also that the one who is serving me is not my devotee, but the one who serves my devotee is really my devotee. Why? Because when you are serving the servant of the Lord, we don't feel any proud. There is a possibility when I am serving the Lord, say, hey, I am serving the Lord every day. It slowly may become a card of our false ego. But when I am serving a devotee who is advanced in the spiritual life, I am a servant. Therefore, that there is no place for that false ego. Because I am serving the devotee of Krishna, pure devotee of the Lord, the Lord will be blessed. Like in the material world, we can see. If you want to get, Sila Prabhupada also mentioned somewhere in the purport that if you want to work, get the work done by a minister, but minister may not agree. But if you make friendship with his son and associate with him, play with them, then the minister will be pleased. Oh, he is, likes my son. He always is my son. Engage in playing and all. So the minister becomes softer to do the work. In the same way, when he serves the pure devotees of the Lord, by associating to hear the glorious pastimes of the Lord and engage in his service, that will please Krishna more than serving him directly. Therefore, he said that case is Kevalaya Bhakta. Only a real person who has adopted complete unalloyed devotional service to Krishna can uproot the weeds of the sinful actions. With no possibility that they will revive. He can do this simply by discharging devotional service. Just as the sun can immediately display fog by his rays. Remember, the devotional service cannot be done by our own self individually. It has to be done under the guidance of a pure devotee of the Lord. A pure devotee of the Lord will always be ready to guide you 
provided you associate with the devotees. If you have the desire to serve, then only if you devotee will show his mercy so that you, you advance in the spiritual life. Tasmad Bharata Sarvatna Bhagavani Sharuhari Srota Vyaki Zeta Vyasabayam. Now he is very important. Sukade Goswami says that a Parichit, one who desires to be free from all the miseries of life, must hear about, glorify, and remember the personality of God. Who is the super soul, controller, and savior from all miseries. But hear from whom? It's a very good. One should hear the glories of the Lord, Supreme Lord, Krishna. But from whom? Should we hear from the non devotees? No. One should not associate with non devotees, neither one should try to hear anything from the non devotees. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gives a very big warning. The non-devotees, when they speak, speak about Krishna, they speak on their own motive. What he thinks he speaks, that he has no meaning. But when you hear from the pure devotee of the Lord, then it will have the real effect. It is the possibility of changing our consciousness. That's why all the great people always Stress on the association of the devotees, Vaishnavas. Of this material existence. Tasma Guru Prapat Jeta Jasus Shabde Parecha Nishnatam Brahmani. So seriously desires yes, the life must see spiritual master and him by initiation. Whether you say spiritual master in the pure devotee, taking shelter of the spiritual master is very from him one can huh? Glory Supreme Vikas one with him. You will get answers about the actual potency of the Supreme. Chase Guru after the Evataha. Amaya and worshipable deity. Disciples should learn from him the process of pure devotional service. So, unless martyr, okay, that's a scripture that should associate and from the Vaishnava, from spiritual devotee of the Lord, our spiritual masters, one should learn how to perform the devotion. It's not that I want the way what I like to know. It should be as described in the scriptures. relation to the Supreme Lord must be, it should be based on the scriptural injunctions. We can story of Ajamila. You all know it. The story of Ajamila is given. Ajamila, though, was born 
in the sense of government practicing very strictly biomedical duties. One day when like the perform the yajna while the pra a shudra, a shudra means a person in ignorance facing a prosecution. This type of seeing such commitment prohibit the scripture list. So having seen his mind got polluted, he came to the stand that he left his life. They brought the prostitute in and to maintain a prostitute is not learning so many things. So to fulfill our demands, he started looting, killing, stealing, everything. Which is the Ajahn not just to make. He had many children. Ten children he had with the prostitute. Even it was at the age, community has given the name Narayana. One day he saw very, three very fearful persons, actually they are servant of Lord Yamaraj, they came to take the soul of Ajamila so that Yamaraj can punish the Shiva. But when you have seen these very fearful faces of the servants of Yama, Yamadutas, Ajamila, out of fear, he called his son Narayan, 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 Narayan. As he said Narayan, in full attention, as immediately the associates of Lord Narayan, headed by the Sunanda, the, all the four appeared on the scene and chastised the servants of Yamaraj. Who are you? What are you doing here? This is Ajamila, pure person. Servants of Yamaraj said, what are you talking about? This Ajamila, the whole life was performed in very, very great people like this. And you people say that is a very pure personality. They have not done any sin. How it is possible? The associates of Lord Vishnu Narayana said that this Ajamila, at the last moment of his life, he called Narayana intensely. He was calling Narayana Narayana. So, it's a mean, Maria Manasya, at the last moment, last moment of his life, anybody taking the holy name of the Lord, Krishna, he is freed from the reaction of all sinful activities for the many, many lifetimes. That's why his name is Hari. So, when he is freed of all the sinful activities performed for so many lifetimes, how, how can you say that this personality is qualified to be taken to the hell punishment, for the punishment by Yamaraj? Get out of this place. Servants of Yamaras go because they can't answer this question. And immediately after that, Ajamila wanted to ask something from this associates of Narayan, but they disappeared. Because they were not yet qualified to associate and talk to them. So, Two devotees of the Lord. Means to get association of two devotees of the Lord, to get their mercy also, we have need, we need a qualification. That's why in the beginning we said that when a person is qualified to get liberation, then only Lord will bless him to have the association of Vaishnavas, two devotees of the Lord. It's a very great fortune that in it's gone all those we have taken up this Krishna consciousness 
taking shelter of spiritual master. They all are fortunate. They are qualified the for the liberation. But only the qualification won't help us unless we put into practice, continue our service to the Lord in guidance, under the guidance of a true devotee of the Lord. Hearing from the devotees, Vaishnavas, our glorious pastimes of the Lord is very essential. The strength of Bhagavatam in the right in the beginning, first kind of second chapter, 17 to 21. Sutta Goswam says, Srinatam Sakata Krishna Punyasravanaki Tanam Uriyantasto Yavadrani by hearing the Krishna's pastimes, one will free the fall of Adhana, inauspicious thing from our heart. What are the inauspicious things in our heart? That is Tama, Krodha, Lobha, Moha, Mother, Macharya. Desire, Kama, desire for sense enjoyment. Krodha, desire is not fulfilled, become angry. Greediness, loha, more attachment to the material things. Desha, enviousness, mother, false ego. Byproduct of this six is that mind. I say, my house, my bank, my, my car, so many, nothing belongs to you. Everything belongs to someone else. When I die, my car doesn't go with me. My building doesn't go with me. My TV doesn't go. My bank balance will not go with me. Then how can I say it is mine? This mameti. Like the huh, goat always says, my, 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 it is says, mame. Huh? My, my, if mine, mine. The person who always says that is mine, it is mine, is like a goat only. That's why the scripture says that goat. What should be sacrificed? Foolishly, people not understanding the meaning of sacrificing the goat, to bring the goat and cut it. No. Sacrificing the goat means sacrificing the mamatto bhava in yours. The mamatto bhava means mine, mine, I say. My, my, my children, my house, my bank balance, nothing belongs to you. Because when you leave this body, none of them go with you. All those are related in relation to this body. The body stays back. Uh, anything in relation to the body will also stay back here. Then how it is yours? You are not the body. You are the soul, which is part and parcel of Supreme Lord Krishna. So we can say only Krishna is mine, nothing else. So this knowledge, we can get it from the association of the pure duty of the Lord. Otherwise, this knowledge we cannot understand. Even we read scriptures, we cannot understand it. <clears throat> That's why Lord Kapil Deva Maharshi instructs that Satam Prasangam Mamavi Yasamido Bhavantirtan Narsayana Katha Said that mother, instructing his mother, he said that, my dear mother, one should hear the pastimes of Supreme Lord from the devotees. Tatam. By that, it will, because you are hearing from the devotees, Vaishnavas, you will get your, it will be pleasing to your heart. And because it is pleasing to your heart, you will get the firm faith, Sadha Ratir Bhakti. You will get the firm faith in the Nishta Bhakti, the service to the Lord's feet of the Lord. That comes because you are hearing in association with the devotee, from the devotee, from the Vaishnavas. You get the rati, you get the attachment to the lotus feet of the Lord's service, and you get the bhakti. As a result, that joshana dasha apavarga. Apavarga means vaikuntha, mukcha, 
The door to the liberation is open. The important fact in this verse is that only when you hear the past tense of the Lord, glorious past tense of the Lord, Krishna, from the devotee, then only the door to the liberation is open. Therefore, to hear, it is very essential to so have the association of the Vaishnavas, few duties of the Lord, and hear from them about the glories, hear from them how to perform the devotional service. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also says, Sadhu Sangha is Sadhu Sangha. Bhakti Pala Prema Hoi Samsara Yachaya. By associating with the devotee, one awakens his faith in devotional service to Krishna. Because of devotional service, one's dormant love for Krishna awakens, and thus one's material condition existence comes to end. We can see just when we are interested in more association of the devotees, you will be more inclined to perform the devotional service to Krishna, means get more attachment to service to the lotus feet of Supreme Lord Krishna. As we get more attachment to Krishna, our attachment to the material thing is fine. The both are inversely proposed to each other. If you are more attached to the material things and family, our attachment to the lotus feet of Krishna is less. If our attachment to family is less, our attachment to Krishna becomes increasing more. Both cannot go to that. Both are inversely proportional to each other. Therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gives that our dormant love for Krishna awakens only when they engage in service in association and direction of Vaishnavas. Nechamite viluritam urvikram ena tata manu pataya vampija vritya parshan. Therefore, because of my experience, I don't wish to possess them. Means, Lord, I request to place me in touch with your few devotees. A devotee always wants the association of the few devotees of the Lord, nothing else. He doesn't a devotee doesn't want even to go to Vaikut also. Because he understands that association of few devotees is far superior even to Vaikut. Because it is the mercy of the Vaishnavas association that make us qualified to go back home to Vaikuntha. In the 6th canto, 11th chapter, 24th verse, very nicely it said, Amaritapa pada ekamula dasa nudasu bhavita sinduya manasmara tasu pate jante unita vakarma karutupaya Oh, my Lord, will I again be able to become a servant of your eternal servant? Means, my Lord, even if I die, but whatever it may be, but every time I take birth, I want to become servant of your servant. Because your servant takes only shelter of your lotus feet alone. Oh, Lord of my life, may I again become your, become their servant so that my mind is always think of your transcendental attributes. When you are in the association with the devotees of the Lord, they will talk only about Krishna. They have nothing to do with the cricket or cinema. They will talk only about Krishna. They will talk that they don't have to talk about your family, how the children doing all. They are doing good and bad depends upon their karma. And that is beyond the karma. They have nothing to do with the and do good or bad. Everyone enjoy according to the term of what they did in previous life. So if devotee wants to become a devotee servant of that field devotee of the Lord. So that my mind always thinks of your transcendental attributes. My words always glorify. Krinita huh? walk with the mouth I can glorify your karma with karokaya. I mean body. 
with my body, I can serve the Lord of feet of Supreme Lord. This happens only when we are in association of the devotees. Only by the mercy of the pure devotees of the Lord, then we can engage in service. The same canto says that Mamottama Shloka Jani Susakyam Samsara Chakre Brahmatam Sakarma Bhi Oh my Lord, I am wandering toward this material world as a result of my fruity activity. Therefore, my Lord, I simply seek your friendship, seek friendship or in the association of your pious and enlightened pure devotees. When say Jiva, you will ask only association of the Jiva. According to my karma, I may take birth in any living as a living entity, but each and every living entity, I take birth. Please bless me to be in association of with your pure devotees. My attachment to my body, my children and home, the continuing by the spell of your external energy, but I wish to be attached to them. No longer. Sanmaya Atma Dharagesh Asak Atma Bhuyat. My Lord, bless me not to have been attached to my family, my children, my possessions. One who desires ultimate self interest, the work and ultimate self interest is going back home to Godhead to serve the Lord eternally. One should cultivate friendship with the, those persons who have accepted Krishna as the Lord of the life. Manushya Shucha Saurudam Pratichariyam Chobhayatra Mahachu Rushu Sadhushu. One should especially try to help those in the form of women form of life. And among them, especially those who accept the principle of religious among the religious person, one should especially render service to the pure devotee of the personality of God. Mahatya Rushu, Sadhushu. Only when we take association of the pure devotee of the Lord, Vaishnavas, and serve them, that will please the Lord. I'll take five moments more, then we stop it. How the association of the devotee uh, will spoil the life. Thank you, you know, Ramayan, Dasdas Maharaj had two twins, Kausalya, Sumitra, and Kaikai. Kaikai is the youngest one. He has four sons. Lord Sri Ram becomes as a son of Kausalya. Bharat was son of Kaikai. Dachan Shatrugna was son of Sumitra. But Kaikai loved Sri Ram more than her own son Bharat. But unfortunately, she was in association with her servant called Mantara, who came from her uh, mother's house. As a result, because of her association, hearing the advice of Mantara, you know what happened. So because of that entire Ramayana has come. Brigari, he was a great killer of the animals, simple person, but he had association of Narada Manush. And as such, his entire life changed. Where as a free and simple person, because of association with Narada, he became pure devotee of the Lord. Dhruva Maharaj, also, we can see Dhramara associated with Narada Maharshi for, for a small time. But a, such association is so wonderful that as a, because of the association of Narada Maharshi and his mercy, just by the mercy of Narada, Dhramara was able to see the Lord face to face. When they the five years of age, just by performing austerities only six months, never happened before. But this is the mercy of the pure devotee of the Lord. When a pure devotee of the Lord 
bless us. Nothing which is not possible for the The story of Darbhar and King Rahavana. Yeah, we all know the story. So we stop here. Any question you may ask? Any interruption in between? It was it was it was uh, audible, Maharaj, for me. I'm not sure about others. It was clear for uh, me. Uh, uh, sorry. Yeah, the sound and everything was okay on my side. The it was fine for me. Okay. Hare Krishna, is any questions, any questions or comments? Anywhere? Hare Krishna, Maharaj, we're going to request uh, His Grace. Uh, Sorry, we'll request some cash and probably say a few words since he's not volunteering. Hare Krishna, probably welcome. <coughs> Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Please accept my humble obeisances. Uh, Thank you very much for the class, Maharaj. Um, yeah, association is very, very important. And I think my when I first came into Krishna consciousness as well. Uh, I was fortunate enough on the first day that I went to the temple, I got the association of His Holiness Bhakti Chaitanya Swami. And from then I was attracted to, to Krishna consciousness. So from then I've been always following all the gurus that came to the new Jagannath Puri temple. And even when I came to the Swamsi Road temple, that's when I saw you as well. That's where I met you. So I've been following all the saintly persons all the time, and hopefully I can be at, at your lotus feet all the time. Thank you so much, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Uh -huh. Maharaj, we, we introduce you also to Mataji from UK, Kasturi Manjari Devi Dasi. Mataji, do you like to greet Maharaj? Kasturi Mataji? Hare Krishna Prabhu, thank you so much. Hare Krishna Maharaj, peace and humble obeisances at your lotus feet. All glories to Pula Prabhupada, all glories to you, Maharaj. Thank you for this wonderful Hare class. Krishna. I've been following uh, your classes and especially your recitation of the verses from Srimad Bhagavatam is amazing. It's so inspiring. Actually, I started reading Srimad Bhagavatam only after listening to your classes, Maharaj. So thank you for that. Hare Krishna. Thank you, sir. Mataji, Hare Krishna. Bhaktan Kudruta I, I, I met Kasturi Mandari Mataji in Durban. Am I right, Mataji? No, Maharaj. I have never been to South Africa. I'm basically from India, residing in the UK. So oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I haven't Fair had that. the... Good fortune to have your darshan as yet, Maharaj. Uh, uh, okay. Thank you, Mataji. Maharaj, we're going to request Bhaktan Kurra Paul to greet you from Romania. Maharaj, Hare Krishna, dear devotees, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Shri Prabhupada. All glories to you, Maharaj. Thank you very much for wonderful class and enlightening and inspiring. Uh, I have a practical uh, problem. Uh, how can we uh, realize association for um, devotees, children devotees? Because it's very difficult for them to attend uh, schools from government, to make friends. This is a problem and I want, uh, if you have a solution for this, we are trying to do a school inside this school. But it's difficult because the government don't agree. Okay. Yeah, one can have the association by Vapu. One can have the association by the Vani. Okay. As you say, it is difficult. But we can hear in the lectures. By hearing the lectures given by the Vaishnavas, that is also association. 
when we are reading the Bhagavatam, we are associating with Krishna. The Bhagavatam is non different from Krishna. So we can associate with the Lord also by reading Bhagavatam, but we, we can associate with the Vaishnavas by hearing their lectures and mentally serving them. That will also have effect. Because when we hear the lecture, we understand better than reading ourselves the scripture. When you read scripture, sometimes there are some doubts, but the person, when he speaks, those doubts will also talk clear. He will get to try to get into the deep uh, meaning of those, each word. So try to hear their lectures, try to read Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita. One day, by the grace of the Lord, your desire will be fulfilled. Okay, Mataji? You're getting Thank you very much, Maharaj. My Dandava Pranams for you. And pranam. Hare Krishna Maharaj, thank you so much. Is there any other comments or realization from anyone? Uh, Radhika Raman Prabhat, Prabhu, would you like to share something or, or your sister? <coughs> much? What, what, is, what is your sister's name, Prabhu? Is Ru Rupa Manjari there with us. Rupa Manjari, thank you so much. Your singing was so nice in the beginning also. Thank you. Is there any yes, realization from your side, Mataji? Yes, Maharaj. Actually, I do want to say thank you so much for this wonderful class. And since you are a pure devotee, please can you give us your mercy so we can uh, we can get devotional service. Very good. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Thank you so much. Radhika Raman Prabhu, from your side, Kennedy, from your side, Prabhuji. Uh, Thank you for the time. Thank you so Thank much. You. Uh, Maharaj, I, I've got a question from my side. I want to ask you, what is the difference between an enlightened devotee and an advanced devotee? But the in, your in, yeah, in, your, in your presentation, I saw the word enlightened devotee. Well, what does an enlightened devotee mean? Enlightened devotee means it is a first class devotee. Um, How do you identify? Yes, how when do you identify? When we are enlightening with the knowledge, okay. But yes. The knowledge has to be associated with the service. Okay. Okay. Then, then you will advance in the spiritual life. Only knowledge won't help. Because more we get the knowledge, there are also possibility of getting false ego. It's like we hear some, they would say, hey, I know Bhagavatam, I read 10 times. Is it? Yes, that is yes. good. Then, why is the I know? The I should have gone out. Huh? So the, that's why the advanced thing though is means he's minimizing his false ego, I. They have to try to bring the capital I to the small I. Huh? Thank you so much, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Is there any other comments Hello, like Kamala David Lassi? Do you like to greet Maharaj? Hitesh Padbudas, Hare Krishna Prabhu, thank you for joining us. You like to share any comment from your side? Kamala Devi Dasi, Hare Krishna, welcome, Ajji. Yes, yes. Hare Krishna, Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj, Denver Pranam. Hare Bol, how are you? Good, good, Guru Maharaj, how are you? Uh, fine. How is Batu? Nice. He's okay, he's okay. Because of our renovations, we are able to attend your Sunday program. So you got to the answers I returned you? Sorry, sorry. Chapter two? I sent you the chapter two answers returned. Yes, yes. yes, 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 yes. I replied to you also. Okay. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Nice seeing you. Any question? No, thank you so far. Thank you so much, okay. Mother Chi. Hitesh Prabhu Das. Prabhu, do you have any questions or comments from your side? Thank you for joining us. Guru Maharaj. Please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to, to, to your lotus feet. I'm good, Maharaj. And how are you doing, Guru Maharaj? I am okay. That's good. good. Nice to see you and glad to hear your classes. Haribo. Haribo. Maharaj, thank you so much. We really enjoyed your class, Maharaj. It's so nice to have your association. A uh, special thank you also to Shamila Lashman joining us on Facebook. 
Dharmeshwari Devi Dasi on Facebook and Rochira Devi Dasi on Facebook. Thank you so much, Maraj. Maraj, if there's no other comments or questions, if you'd like to end with Kirtan, we'd really appreciate it, Maraj. Yeah. But is there any other uh, closing comments from your side, Maraj, you'd like to add? I, I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Maraj. We hope to hear you again. Okay. Sure. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Maraj. We, we slow down? No, no, Maraj. <laughs> Is it possible to have some kirtan now? Just a one minute of kirtan okay. from you, Maharaj. No. Uh, a one minute of kirtan from you, kirtan. Yeah, you can do. Haridas Prabhu, can you do the kirtan? Your kirtan, yeah. Haridas Prabhu, can you hear me? Yes, yes, Maharaj. Radhika Raman Prabhu? You'd like to do some okay. kirtan? Hare Krishna Prabhu. Prabhu, thank you. You don't mind we request you to close up with it. A minute of kirtan, Prabhu. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Please accept <laughs> our humble gifts, Lord God, Shri Prabhupada. Vancha Kao Pati Rupascha, Kripa Sundu Bevacha, Pati Dhanam Pavana Vyo, Zeshna Vabhyo Namaha Namaha. Okay. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prestaya Bhutale Vivati Bhati Vidanta
Nice pizza, Hare Krishna. Okay. Thank you so much, Maharaj. You Please accept our obligations of Gaurish Chalor Street, Maharaj. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Hare Krishna, Maharaj. Yes, Maharaj.